I guess on the economic perspective, in the short term, people might notice petrol prices going up. Um, also, you know, if the worst does come to the worst, other um, products could end up being more expensive too. Ukraine's one of the biggest exporters of things like chicken, um, corn, honey, barley, uh, lots of other um, agricultural products. And I mean, for people who are less aware than you of Ukraine's resources and the size of the country, I mean, in terms of its ability to defend itself from being invaded already and potentially more action from Russia moving forwards, what is Ukraine able to do in terms of its capacity to defend its government, democracy and citizens? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, I mean, first of all, I should say that Ukraine is the largest whole country in Europe, so it's rather bigger than, than France, for example, um, but of course dwarfed in size by, by Russia. And similarly, if we look at the Russian military compared to the Ukrainian military, the Ukrainian military was in a very poor state when Russia in, invaded in, in 2014. So very famously, only 6,000 troops were combat ready at that time. And actually the war in the East was fought initially largely by volunteers, you know, people literally buying helmets off Amazon or the Amazon equivalent and going off in their car to, to fight. I mean, it really was, it, people called it the crowdsourced war. However, um, Ukrainians are very resourceful and polls suggest consistently that they will fight. Um, large numbers of them will fight. And of course, a lot of people, because of this war that's been going on for the past nearly eight years, there's a lot of war, there's a lot of veterans that with, with, experience, with military experience who are there and prepared to fight. Um, so this could be a very nasty, um, bloody uh, war for Putin. 